Hello people and welcome to this new video in which we are going to troubleshoot some ether channels right and if you remember or if you saw my videos before um, ether channels are physical interfaces um, combined together to make one logical interface correct so what we're going to do is examine the physical layer and correct the switch port issues Identify and correct port channels assignments issues. Identify and correct port channel protocol issues. Okay. So here's the background information on it. So four switches were recently configured by a junior technician. You know they're not that good at their job. So we have to come in and fix this issue. So users are com complaining that the network is running slow and would like to investigate. So we are, they are sending the big guns to investigate this. So examine the switches. So when the ports are assigned to an ether channel port, they have behave as one. Okay, like I said before, they behave as one logical interface. Each port we have will be either operational or down. They will not be mixed with one port green or and the other one orange. Okay, so we have to fix that. So set the ports to trunking mode. So the ports have to be set to trunking mode. And let me see what else we have to do. Part two, identify and correct port channels assignments issues. So the topology illustrates physical ports and their ether and channels assignments verify that the switches are configured as indicated. So we have to correctly as assign and um, correct any switch ports that are not assigned to the correct ethernet channels. And so just some background information on it. And I say Verify that the physical ports are configured as indicated. So, so the network team design, the network design team chose to use LACP across the network. So, none of the switches should be using PAGP, which is a Cisco own protocol. So, they all have to be using LACP. Okay. So, let's go ahead and correct that. And sorry for that. Let's take a look at this topology. So we can see some of the ports are down. So first of all, let's go ahead and go. Let's start with switch one. Let's see what we can find in switch one. Enable. Let's see. Show ether channel summary. Okay. <clears throat> and first, I can see that there are none. We don't have any interfaces assigned to port channel one and port channel one should have let's see port channel one should have gigabit one and two I believe let's take a look on switch three to see if that's true enable so it's a channel summary <clears throat> um, it does not have a configure either here so yeah and this one is wrong because it's supposed to have LACP. Okay. So, first of all, let's go ahead and fix that port channel one. Right. We can start on this switch. Config T. Let's go to interface gigabit 0 slash 1 to 2. Mm, we have to do range. Right. There it is. So now from here, we have to assign a port or channel group, channel group one, I believe. Yep, channel group one. And the mode, let's set it to active. There it is. So that's good. And now we should also set this up. Switch board mode trunk. Okay, let's set this. Let's uh, this interface as trunk. That's good. Let me see if I do show VLAN to see which VLANs I need to allow. Eh, no VLAN. So uh, what I can do. Yeah, this should be fine like this because we don't have any real VLANs. Okay, so configure as trunk and also as um, LAPC, LACP active. Let's do the same on this interface. So you can see it is blocking it. So 
so config terminal range first of all we have to assign it to um, channel group one mode the mode if we set up the other one as active let's set this one as passive and that should do it passive and now switch for mode let's make it a trunk okay let's end it now show ether channel and the ether channel that we have to i mean we have to do a summary so lapc lapc this is good that's good okay this one is standalone it's probably an error on the other side d is down why is the one is that one down hmm. okay well it's not down here it's, it's working they're working good on this side so what we could do is now go to switch three where we saw a this configuration and let's do show ethernet Inter channel summary again so you can see these two are configured to work as PAGP and that should not be the case but they have to be LACP so let's go ahead into fast ethernet serial slash 23 and 24 and configure that so config T interface range from what we could do actually Mm. We can even go to from 21 through the 24. As long as we do not um, change the port channel number, we should be fine. So let's go ahead and do uh, channel group. Ah, no, 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 not channel group. Yeah, we still have to do channel group, so that's not going to work. So let's go ahead and do it from 23 to 24. So channel group. So this is channel group 4, right? 4. The mode that I want to set up for those are set up as active. Okay, that's good. Now let's go back. Well, let's make sure that it, they are switch mode, that they are trunking. Now let's go back here and set this up as 22 and 21. And not trying to group four right now. This one is going to be six. Six and now let's make it trunking. So make sure they are trunking. Let's end it. Show Ethernet summary. Still has PAGP for some reason, right? Let me see. Other still. So which one is channels? This is group six on switch three. I don't see any channel six. So this one is supposed to be. Let me see. Twenty one and twenty two. That's supposed to be port channel 5, so we did that wrong. So let's go ahead and change that. Config T 22 and 21 should be, this should be 5. Okay, so it is says that it's rejecting it. So what we could do is no port channels let's see and there it is good and now let's assign it to that one it went down and then it went up it went down and then it went up let me see if i can do a do show it third channel summary it still says pga gp on channel let me see 21, oh, 21 and 22 this one is working so that's just good so what I could do 
let's exit let's get rid of this which one is the one that we're not using that one okay interface port channel six i think we are able to delete it if we say if we just negate this okay now let's do a do show ether ether channel summary right okay that's good now we got rid of that number six that we don't need and we see that this to our LAPC. Now we have to configure this one. This one is not working. So port channel four. Where is port channel four on this side? It's supposed to be this one. So something is wrong. So let's go ahead and why is it not working? So let's take a look and go on this side and see what's going on. Enable. Enable and then we can do show a third channel summary oh yeah there's nothing here so they all configured to use that and that's not how it is supposed to be working so let's go ahead and and do a and let's just assign 23 and 24 and get rid of that 21 and 22 so go ahead and config config t Internet range, interface range, um, fast Ethernet 20, 0, 20, let's see, 23 and 24. And let's make this a channel group, it's supposed to be channel group 4, mode passive, let's make it as passive. And after that, what we could do is take a look at what we have still trying to figure out what's going on we could also do a make it a switch port or make it this port has trunk okay let's see what's going on still trying to work so the line interface went up 23 went up 22 went up 24 went up 24 went down and then 24 went up okay so let me do to show it either channel summary so it is working as LA CP but I can see that 21 and 22 are still on port 4 so what I could do is right go to 20 23 and 22 so 21, 20, 21 to, to 22, and say channel group, channel group 4, and say no, channel group 4. There it is. Now let's do a do show summary. Okay, that's good. LACP, but it is still on. This is, let me see if this guy is on, on the same. Do show. This one is still showing us that. So let's see if we can just not shut it and then bring it back up. So let's go 24, 23, shut, shut down and then now shut down that interface. And then the way do show interface summary or do show ether channel summary we can see right here that they're up what was wrong what's going on on this interface let's see what we're going to what, what are we going to negotiate okay it still has a pagp on this side so what i could do is i could go to ports 23 and 22 i mean 20 3 and 24 and try to do a channel group again channel group 4 mode active let's say that's active command was rejected it is already part of that protocol so why are they not working let's see it's still down these two are up 
replica switch 3 is still this one's still saying PAGP so let's see if we have to config T go right here channel as a set of as passive then so very part of a channel or a different type of protocol hmm so what we have to do is then let's say channel group mode active no active there you go and now let's say it always passive it went down it went up it went down and then it went up now let's see what we have still says PAGP hmm. okay, let's move up to switch 4 then since switch 3 is giving me a headache let's see show Ethernet channel summary see so what we have here okay so we have this configure so we have to configure port channel 2 and what are you doing with port channel 2 I don't see any port channel 2 on switch 4 so let's go ahead and configure port channel 5 which is supposed to have 22 and 23 yeah 22 and 23 on port channel port channel 5 Okay, config, config T, interface range, fast internet, 20, let's see, 21 and 22, so 21 and 21, 22, let's do it, channel group, channel group 5, Let's set the mode to active. Okay, it went down, then it went up, so that's a good sign. Then switch for mode. Let's make it a trunk. That's good. Now let's end it. Show either channel summary. Okay, that's good. So we have four and five configured. Now we have to configure port channel. For channel 2 if that's correct so why is it port channel 6 on this side so we have port channel 1 right here we have 3 right here and then do we have 2 right here yeah we should have 2 so this one going up and down should be 6 and this one should be 5 I believe Okay, so let's configure for channel 2, which is this one, and we have to assign on that side, um, gigabit 1 and 2. So config T, interface range, gigabit 1, 2, channel, channel group, 2, mode, active, Switch for mode trunk. That's good. Do show ether ether channel summary. Okay, this is good. So this is all working right here. So switch four is good. Now let's go to switch two and see what's up with switch two. Enable show ether channel. Uh, show it the channel somewhere it looks better so we have this um, three number three should be 22 and 23 which is 23 and 24 so 23 and 24 so I was supposed to get 23 and 24 let's see on switch one see what we have here Enable, show it the channel, summary, 
Okay, so on for channel 3 is 23 and 24. Yeah, so 23 and 24 should be good. 23 and 24 is good. So what about on this one? We should have gigabit 1 and 2. Let's go ahead and configure that. Config T, interface, range, gigabit 1, 2, 2, channel, group, channel group. What should be that? That should be number two. Mode. Let's make it as passive. Now. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Can I bundle? Let's make it. Let's make this switchboard mode trunk. On that again, okay. So I believe it gave me, it gave me that error because one of them, where is it? It gave me this error because I believe one of them was being a switch and the other one, one of them was being an access port and the other one was being a trunk port. And that's why I did the switch, switch port mode trunk, and then I did that. I did this um, command again, and it didn't give me an error. So let's end this, show it the channel summary. So this switch is working correctly, I believe. Let me verify that, port channel three. Port channel three is good, and port channel six. This one should be six, I believe. Let's take a look at here. But it is five on this side for some reason. Because this one is five. Port six should be going this way. Let's see right here. Let's see what we have. This one is five. So this one going up and down should be five. And this one should be six. So I got all confused right here. So I'm going to have to fix that. Let's see. This one should be six. And this one is five. So 5, 21, and 22. Yeah, 21 and 22. And 5, 21 and 22. So this one should be 6. Right? This one should be 6, 21 and 22. Connecting to switch 2, which uses 6 as well. So that is good working. So let me go ahead and cancel that four, uh, 5 that we have here. Config. Config terminal, right? Interface port channel five. So let's go ahead and negate that. No, port channel five. I'm sorry for that. Interface range. And the range that we are going to use is 21 and 22. Ah, not like that though. 21 and 22. That's good. Now let's assign this to the channel group number six and the mode is a little too passive okay we created that now let's do a switch port mode trunk let's make it a trunk so that's good let's end it show ether channel and show ether channels or we could do show ether channel summary okay this one's still um, not connecting, so what I will do to this one is I'm just going to delete it and then add it again. Config T, interface port 4. Let's say bye bye for that one, and let's assign 23 and 24 again to that interface, to that port channel. So interface range, fast Ethernet. 23 to 24 so channel group channel group channel group 4 mode I said it's passive there we go and now switch poor mode trunking and show Ethernet channel with the channel summary and there we go LAPC and LAPC so that's good so this is working.
let's see right here if it is working too it is working let's see, go switch to looks good I go over here and show either channel summary looks good all right so they all look to be working perfectly they are all assigned they are all trunking why is this one um Okay. And they are working, so this should be it for this for this video. So that in more video I'm going to keep doing more activities for this packet tracer, more like this. And if you want more, you can always go to my website ccdtt.com. Okay? And over there you can find a lot more labs. I have about 800 labs that you can use for your ICND1 and also for your ICND2. Obviously, this one goes for the ICND2, okay? So, thank you guys for watching, and I see you on the next one, okay? Bye bye.